You know how it is, you're in the middle of a session, all of a sudden you get that warning on the screen, card is full. That's awesome. <laughs> What is going on today, guys? Happy Halloween weekend to you all. I uh, want to make it really extra scary for you on this video so you get to see my receding hairline. Uh, that's pretty frightening. <coughs> Anyhow, I thought I'd bring you guys a quick riff for the weekend, something to practice, using the technique known as pedal point or pedal tone. Uh, essentially what that is is you're repeating or maintaining one specific pedal note or pedal tone throughout the chord sequence or throughout the, you know, the measure of music or the melody or what have you. In this particular instance, what I'm doing is I'm basically just chugging on that low E, uh, which base well, this guitar is tuned down to D standard, just so you know, so it's one whole step down. But essentially, I'm chugging on the low E throughout the sequence, just palm muting it so you're hearing a lot of... Right? Throughout the whole sequence. This little riff that I came up with is just something as a practice thing to kind of get me warmed up when I first pick up the guitar. It helps me do a little bit of the alternate picking, the palm muting, and uh, some other stuff in between there. I've got a slide in there and stuff like that. But essentially what this is, is just using that pedal note. So if you're a beginner or an intermediate guitar player, maybe you're not familiar with this so much. I think this was used a lot more so in the 80s and 90s metal than it is more in modern metal, which is a little more... Um, elaborate and extensive and it still uses palm muting but maybe not so much with the pedal tone so I have a tendency I gravitate towards writing riffs with pedal tones all the time you know for you guys out there it's a nice little lick if you're not familiar with this kind of technique so we're gonna break it down for you real easy uh, something you can practice over the weekend you know show your mom on Monday morning after Halloween right it, it'll be a lot of fun I don't know anyways so I'm gonna do it go through it real slow and it's basically four sequences that repeat, but each one has a little bit of a, differentiates a little bit throughout. So it's basically this, and it's very choppy. I've got a tone that's essentially, you know, kind of genty. The gate's pretty high, so it kind of cuts it off. But I've got some reverb to kind of fill in afterwards to give it a little more fullness sounding. So it's basically this. It's And then you go up to the E note on the A string there with your first finger, and it's and by the way, it's an E minor, or in this particular case, with the guitar down tuned, it's D minor, but it's... Uh, we're just bouncing off that low E, we're just bouncing back and forth, and then I'm pretty much upstroking all the other notes, and you can let them ring out. So palm muting the E string, and then every other note rings out in between, so it's... And then drop back down to the original... Only this time, the second time around, I let the chords ring out, so it just differentiates it a little bit, so it's more of a... And there's kind of a ghost note in between those two chords. I'm just hitting the E power chord with kind of a palm mute in between, but not really. It's kind of a ghost note. It's kind of... You can kind of hear it stop in between. All right, so now I'm going to play through that entire lick uh, slowly at, I don't know, half speed or something like that. So let's check it out. And that very last little sequence right there, I, I kind of teeter-tottered on different uh, different note choice, but I kind of settled on that. So it's kind of uh, and that's it. That's the riff, guys. It's real simple once you get it. So do it slow. Practice it slow for as long as it takes. You know, if it's whether that's 10 minutes, an hour, a couple days, whatever, a week and a half, whatever it takes for you to get the riff down pat. You want to take your time, a lot of patience. That's basically what becoming a skilled musician in any, you know, with any instrument entails. Practice, practice, practice. I know there's no shortcut. 
people try to tell you, there's here's the fast way to learn how to speed pick and you can do it tomorrow. No, it doesn't work that way. I mean, yes, those techniques help, but it just, you have to put in the time. Play it slow first, that's all I can tell you. Just play it real slow until you get it down pat. Watch the video at half speed, three quarter speed, you know what you can do with YouTube, all that good stuff. So it's basically this. We're gonna go through it one last time, really, really slow. <laughs> three notes uh, the first second and third of that E minor scale and it's basically just and even if you want to take it down to small pieces break it down like a fraction just take that first little bit right there and just repeat that for a while and then that second little bit is uh, using a C add nine chord basically it's It sounds pretty evil and sinister, and that's what we want because, again, it's Halloween weekend. Scary riff for you guys. Work it out. Try it out. Leave me a comment down below. Smash that like button. Sub if you haven't already. Coming back to you guys. Oh, I, one more thing i got to mention. Trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. It takes time. It takes effort. You know, the algorithm. Got to tame that beast. So I really need your guys' help out there. If you have not subscribed yet to the channel and you you know, even moderately enjoy some of the content I'm bringing you, consider subscribing, it would really help out the channel. And the sooner we get to a thousand subscribers, the sooner I'm gonna do my first giveaway. And you know, a lot of guys, a lot of people, I should say, on their channels, wait till they have five, 10,000, 50,000, or 100,000 subscribers before they do some sort of a giveaway. Not here, guys, 1,000 subscribers. We're gonna enter a contest, I'm gonna get you guys in a contest, and your chances are one in a thousand. Yeah, I'll be giving away a really nice guitar, and I will give you the details of it when we come close to the thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm not gonna do some $300, you know, no-name Chinese knockoff BS, I promise you. If you've seen any of my other guitars in my videos, you know what kind of stuff I play, and nothing is really cheap. It's all mid-range to upper-tier stuff, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, the rules will come later on but it's going to be real simple basically you have to be a subscriber watch a video and like it it's real simple and i really appreciate it take care have a happy safe halloween weekend and i'll talk to you guys next week hopefully you've got this lick under control by then and uh, if not let me know if i can help out and i'll talk to you soon all right that's it for now see ya Happy Halloween, bitches.